and as you've heard, welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we got started with chapter six, three days of excess here on the Excess Express and solved the mystery of the hidden or the missing stew. And now we have to go talk to the detective, I think? The detective is in cabin six. Any idea what he wants to talk about? No clue. So maybe it has to do, I guess, with the note that we got, you know? So maybe we can go and find the detective catch up with that kind of stuff. Don't know if there was too much else we could do around here. From what we were checking in with Miss Mouse, we sort of got everything in each of the cabins, so. That's good for the least, right over here. I can chat with you. Hey, buddy. Uh-huh, I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with the, your work on this, case, this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy mal content. I have deduced this from the lack of any inc incriminating clues in his cabin. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. Me? To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I'm sure you have heard me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That a mustache, that a nose, hmm. Ho oh, ho ho, all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? Uh, close. But no, not quite, we're Mario. No need to introduce yourself, I know all about the famous Luigi. Now, about this threat, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky tasty explosion, that family of bob -oms. They are definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we already set this case to, case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Okay, who's this family, and can they really blow up a train? We should start by checking the cabins in, can, in car four. Okay, I don't think they would do it though. I don't really understand the motive. All right, we already know this is a passenger car, so uh, take heed now, Luigi. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sicky, tasty explosion. That family of bob they are definitely suspect. Even as we speak, yes. Do you smell their fuses burning in conspiracy? All right, well, I guess we need to go to car four. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, it's evening now. Okay, who's this family? Can they really pull up a train? Wasn't the family over here? I believe so. Hi, guys. Are you even listening? No, 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 he's our little bulb. What are they arguing about? Because it was clearly, they're, they're speaking so fast. Uh, huh, you guys okay? I think we should get Little Bub, the Advanced Learner's Classic Series of Bob Ombury. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bub is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. What do you want? Hey, mister. Are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Here's your hint. It has ow at the, uh, at the front. Now you've got it, don't you? Huh. I will look around. The hint of what I want is it has ow at the front. You want another hint? Sure. Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now you've got it, don't ya? Oh, I think I get it. We must get him something that befits the station of our family. I have my reputation to think of, Sylvia. Well, I still think we should get him the classic series of Bob Ombre. I mean, I think you guys can afford getting him two things. That's Sylvia the bob -omb. she's super wealthy. I didn't know if they were gonna have any descriptions now that they're arguing. Okay, we should put a move out then, and I think we can piece together what he wants. He probably wants an autograph from 
the super famous toad, right? So we'll go check that out, and in the meantime, I believe it was, oh wow, the view is so pretty out back there with the sun setting, so cool. Um, but yeah, I think that the Detective Pennington wanted us to go to room four? Yes, about this thief. I'm actually pleased that he craved my stew enough to steal the entire pot. Yeah, we heard about that already, so it looks like they don't have anything new to say even though it's evening. We'll just head this way and check out room four. Right over here, room five is our room. Room four, isn't this where the one toad is? Not anymore. Uh, there's nothing in here. Yeah, what did we need to do in here? So Bub wants an autograph from a certain someone, but who? Could it be someone on this train? I would hope so. So, I thought that Pennington said something about room four. I don't know. Uh, but we can keep looking around. Oh yeah, there's you in here. Which, how are you doing? Sorry for causing all the commotion, but man, that stew is scrum diddly umptious. I can't wait for dinner. Sure it's coming soon. All right, over to the next car then. And I think this one has you in it, yeah. How are you? Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man, you. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well? Sure of. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? Sure, I'll try. Uh, are you sure it's not anywhere just in your room? So far it doesn't seem like it, but you know, if, if it pops up, I'll definitely give it to you. Over here though, we have of course the super celebrity, whatever your name was. What does that little bub kid want as a, want as a pr present? Uh, well I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph from a famous movie star, right guy? <laughs> sorry though, that's a no can do for me. My fee for autographs is out of your budget. Hey, you don't think bub might want something from someone he admires, do you? Well. We better find whatever it is soon, or we'll meet a yummy, sticky end. So, we can't quite afford it from you? You're just gonna say no, I guess? But maybe there's somebody else. We still can't go in here, right? Nope, that's locked. Huh. I mean, maybe it's not the famous actor Toad. There's other people on the train, of course. What about you? Hi. Running this train during the sunset is the high point of every day for me. So let's all hear it for the Access Express. Huzzah, huzzah. Okay. Well, that didn't solve much. So maybe Bub is looking for an autograph from someone he admires. Let's see if we can dig up more info by asking around. All right, so who does Bub admire? I don't know, we haven't talked to him too much, so we don't have a huge read on his personality, but maybe I can just chat with him again. Let's ch catch up with Pennington, maybe he'll have something. The thing that mas young master Bub wants most? Well, let's just do, do, shall we? Why, it is rudimentary. He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Yes, I'm quite sure. My grasp of the modern youth culture's enthusiast desires has never been stronger. Well, I'm sure a Game Boy Advance would be a great gift, but it doesn't seem like it was what he was af asking for. Uh, what about over here? Oh yeah, we have you. I was really looking forward to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh well, I'll just order the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. I don't know what that is. All right, I think we should just probably talk to Bub himself again, but maybe we'll talk to you as well. I can hear everything that family's fighting about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> Well, there you go. I guess we know now he wants to be a train engineer, so he probably wants an autograph from a train engineer. Let's go all the way back over there then, and I guess we'll get that autograph, hopefully. All right, Mr. Engineer, can I have your autograph? You want my autograph, sir? No, oh, it's for a little bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Aw, oh, thank you so much. You got an autograph the autograph of the Access Express engineer. Gosh, 
I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. Well, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Running this train during the sunset is the high point of every day for me. So let's all hear it for the X Express. Wow. All right, well, while you're huzzahing, I gotta go all the way back over to Bub one more time and offer up this autograph. All right, little Bub, I got your autograph. Happy birthday. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? I think so. Here's your XS Express engineer autograph. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Whoa, hey, we got a shine spray. That's a pretty big deal. Thanks for, for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Awesome, well, I'm glad to help. Hey, uh, by the way, what's a detective anyway? We must get him something that befits the station of our family. Okay, so they're still arguing about the same thing. Good luck with that, little bub. Oh, something's going on. Is it nighttime? Whoa. And they're still arguing back here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, hopefully you guys get the bed soon. It sounds exhausting, but it's cool that the time of day is changing as we're progressing. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered some, something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact, I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. Okay, I don't know what that means. Oh, private investigator? I guess so. Honestly, great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. Awesome, we'll save really quickly, and I guess try to figure out what we're doing next. The blanket Thief might also be behind the threatening note. Time for a train-wide investigation. So I guess we just wanna go and ask anyone who might have just stowed away an extra blanket. They don't seem to have anything new to say. They're too busy arguing. I don't see any extra blankets around there. But what about you? I mean, I think you'd gladly pay for an extra blanket because you can, you can put it on your expense account. I'm gonna try to get all my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. So uh, could you just stay on my way for a while? Sure. I mean, that's a good plan. Always good to, you know, get all the extra work out of the way. Enjoy a stress-free vacation after that. What about you in here, Mr. Pennington? Have you taken an extra blanket? What's this? There's an unticketed passenger? Just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we are hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in cabin eight. Rudimentary, my boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. You must strike out on your own with the li that little nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share if I so choose. No, truly. For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt our yummy, sticky suspect. If you're sure about that, you never really know. All right, so we have to find out who here might be unticketed. I don't know. I mean, a lot of the other passengers that like work here, I'd imagine they don't even need a ticket. And now, if you please, I must begin to prepare the evening evening odors. Oh no, uh, curse this tongue of mine. I mean, the evening or divorce. Odors, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know what I mean. Uh, you solved this incident in the record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Sure, what's up? Really? Wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Sure, so the earrings from the waitress, the ring from the one passenger? It seems like a lot of people are losing jewelry. Lots to keep up with. The blanket thief might also be behind the threatening note. Time for a trade one investigation. So this is our room. And you know, we had a ticket. So I don't think we have to worry about that. So I will continue down this way. What about in here? 
there's nobody even in this room, which is the weird part. So, who's staying here? I don't know. Maybe, oh, why are you shaking? Are you okay? Are you chilly? Do you have a blanket? I heard some noises in the cabin next door a little while ago, weird ones. But when I looked in there, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. Then when I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking that cabin for me? Sure. No, I'm spooked out. I didn't I didn't hear anything. Uh Oh. I sort of do hear something. Whoa. Whoa. Got a reflection. In the window. It sounds like it might just be like the like the wheels of the train maybe squeaking around or something. There's nothing in here. Everything seems, oh, fine to me. I've already done this and got the star piece from it. I don't know, seems empty to me. I think it's just like the, the noises of the train. What else do you have to say? But I know there's someone in there. I bet they just saw you and hid first. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Oh, you know who could help with that? Is our friend Vivian. So let's get back in there. Switch to Vivian. Well, actually, let's see what you say. I sense a presence here. Maybe they'll reveal themselves if we use my ability to make them think they're alone. All right, so we switch over to Vivian, just like this. We hide. Oh no, that's what I meant to do. There, yeah. Whoa! Ghost Toad? What are you up to? You're just chilling here? Can I, boo, there you go. Oh no, hi. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. Oh, a yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Fine. All I need is your life. Oh no, we can't give that. I don't think it's worth a blanket. No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Sure, I can help with that. And of course, I wanna hear more about you. So let's get Goombella out here. That's Ghost T. He's pretty lighthearted for a ghost. But still, a ghost is a ghost. That's Ghost T, he's pretty light hearted. Okay, I just did it twice, whoops. Uh, the ghost's diary should be in the baggage car. Let's go explain everything to the conductor in car four and ask him to let us check in there. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna let us. And don't you even dare read my diary, because if you do, a horrible fate awaits you. All right, well, or respect your privacy. But, for right now, I mean, I guess we can explain to you it was a ghost. There's a ghost next door? You're just trying to get me my get my goat now, aren't you, you big liar? There's no such thing as ghosts, right? Right? Come on, tell me I'm right, come on, please! I'm sorry, there's definitely a ghost in there. So we need to talk to the conductor, but I might as well work my way up to the engineer just to see if there's anything else I can help anyone else with, you know? Uh, because we still have not yet found your golden ring. You'll help me find my gold ring. Oh, thanks ever so. Yeah, I guess not. But I do want to see what the other guy has to say now that we're not looking for his autograph. Maybe nothing, I guess we'll see. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion corn arf like in Poshley Heights, yo. I tell you, being a celebrity is rough. Everywhere I go, girls mommy me for my autograph. Exhausting. I think you said that before. So yeah, maybe there's not anything new to worry about here. We're supposed to go in here. The problem is it won't open 
as the train is in motion. So I guess maybe we can get the conductor to open it, or maybe we just have to wait for the train to stop. All right, we're back here at the conductor. Did you find the blanket? Well, technically, what? A ghost? Eee! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. Oh wait, that's the baggage car. Okay. Well, we're going in. Nice, so here we are at the Excess Express baggage car. This is the baggage car. Usually passengers aren't allowed back here. Looks like there's a lot of cargo here. Ready to be unloaded at the next stop. Oh wow, so I guess this is also partly a cargo train? Where could that diary be? Let's look carefully and search each and every corner, even the smallest gaps. Will do. So let's see what we can interact with around here. So far, not too much, but I do wanna also, of course, bring out, nope. Hi, Coops. Didn't mean to pull you out. Miss Mouse, of course, might be able to give us. Hmm, yes, there should be something nearby. Okay. Let's definitely take a good look around then and see what we can find. Could I get up there, maybe? Doesn't seem like it. Huh. Oh, you know what? I can sneak in right back here. Okay, now I see it. There we go. So there's a treasure chest back this way. And it has a ragged diary. The diary, the ghost cap. You shouldn't read it. <laughs> I won't. All right, as long as there's definitely not anything, whoa, back here. This seems a little suspect for there to be something. But what if I were to hop on the treasure chest? Oh, I can get up here, sweet. And then maybe I could, I don't know if this would work, but, uh, yeah, not quite. Okay, that was still pretty cool. So now that we have the diary, I think we can go back over to our uh, ghostly friend. Let's return the diary to the ghost in cabin four. The urge to read it is strong, but we won't give in, right? Yeah, I don't think so. But I'll talk to the conductor real quick and see what he has to say. Maybe he's got some two cents on the situation. Did you find the diary? Wonderful, I knew you would. Now, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. Well, unfortunately, it's none of our business. <laughs> Let's head back over this way. And we will, I guess, just sort of check in with the ghost. Hopefully with the diary being shown to him, you'll be able to give us back the blanket and we can keep things moving. For right now, we're just gonna keep moving over down this way. This is a very interesting chapter so far, by the way. Very little battling, which is interesting. It's just, you know, running around the car and just helping out different passengers. Did you find my diary? In that case, can you place it in that drawer? Sure, right over here, you got it. Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. Well, thank you very much, you got a blanket. The conductor's blanket, without this, he's freezing. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. If you had read it, you might be a spirit like me now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. Well, goodbye. It was nice meeting you. Glad we could help. <laughs> Looks so peaceful, uh-uh. Well, yeah, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've kind of gotten used to it. The wood paneling's so great. Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, as long as you're happy. That's Ghost T, he's pretty lighthearted for a ghost. Yeah, okay. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wood paneling's so great, maybe I'll just stay here a little while longer. Okay, well you have fun with that. Let's get the blanket back to the conductor. Then the poor guy won't have to shiver in the cold anymore. Definitely eliminating different potential suspects as we move along too, when it comes to who could have written that note. <laughs> At this point I'm getting worried, like what if it's Pennington and this whole detective thing is just an act to keep us off the trail? 
sure hope not, but I guess we'll find out as we go along. So we're going all the way back over to the conductor. Maybe we'll catch up with Pennington too, because he's right over here. What does he have to say about all this? Uh, hi. The unticketed passenger was our ghost? My dear Luigi, you are delusional. Do you have the vapors, lad? N no. All right, well he doesn't believe me. Not much of a skeptic, I guess. We'll head over here and talk to you. So, Mr. Mario, how did you do with the blanket? I got it right here. Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. Oh, thank you so much, we get a super mushroom. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night? You're in cabin five, in case you forgot. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. Brian, the conductor of the Excess Express. All right. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Okay, looks like we don't have to do anything then. So I don't know if there's, yeah, really too much more to get done. It's a good time to call it a night. Let's head back to cabin five and get some rest. All right, well, an exciting first day here on the train, solving a couple of mysteries, and of course, uh, just exploring the train. Pretty impressive place. <laughs> the store is all closed for the night. The curtains are drawn down. What about you? I am doing prep work, or perp work for tomorrow's meals, which will be plates of glory. Ah, to a his tongue, I am doing prep work for tomorrow's meals. The kitchen is closed. Well, thank you for all the, the service. And we should just be right over here. So I guess we're good to head in, go to bed, but I do just wanna see, like, will they have any new dialogue? Probably not, but I, I think I need a midnight snack. Is that dining car still open? I don't think it is. All right, well, I think we're good just to head to bed then and see what happens in the next day here on the train. Let's get some shut eye, okay, Mario? Yep. All right, so do we just climb up here? I guess we get in this way. Would you like to go to bed for the night? Yes. All right. Rest easy, Mario. And here we are. Excess Express, day two. We need to find out who wrote that threatening note. Maybe Pennington in cabin six has news for us? I guess we'll find out. Good morning, train. How's the ghost doing? Is he still in here? Oh, he's not. Oh, spooky. Maybe he only shows up at nighttime. What about you? You have anything new to say? Because I still haven't found the gold ring for the other person. Hey, morning, Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad, chowdery nightmare. Well, thanks for to that incident. The cook and I are now pal our pals now. Isn't life weird? Well, I'm happy it worked out for you. And everybody else, too. I guess, I mean, I could try to catch up over here just to see if there's anything to do, but it doesn't seem like there would be. Let's see. Uh, hi. Well, hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man, you. you you're delightful, dear. Have you found my gold ring? Don't grow desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. Me too. It'll eventually pop up. Especially since nobody's gotten on or off the train. And, oh hey, celebrity isn't here. And this is still closed, or, yeah, looks like, yeah. I don't know what that is, then. I, I got it mixed up with the other door. Whatever's inside there, might be important later. Good mor morning to you, sir. Did you sleep well? We will be making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. All right, so yeah, we'll be making a stop at some point that we can finally open that door. So let's head over to the dining car and see if maybe there's some new people over there. At least maybe they'll be grabbing breakfast. I guess there won't be new people, but they'll be in new spots. So head back over this way and all the way back down to car three. Right down this way. because we gotta be able to make some leads soon. It feels like we're sort of reaching a dead end, but who knows. Oh, we're getting a call or an email. RDM issue five. RDM issue five, rogue poor today. Local mystic Mer Lovely was taken to the hospital today, followed quickly by hordes of concerned fans. Oh no. 
Luckily, according to a spokesperson for the hospital, Marlovely suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion caused by a wild binge on eight mushroom steaks. Whoa. The divine diviner exclaimed that her aura was brimming with the power of steak. But this reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the gastrointestinal adventure in the first place. Shop reporter go. This time, let's head to Keyhall Galleria. We are proud to toast the entrepreneurial spirit shown by the managerial team who brought free commerce to this deserted island. I really wanted to do something that had never been done, gushed the unsinkable proprietor of former fight and former fa fight fan, calling the invincible shop master from now on. I'm 100% serious, print that. We wish him all the success that he can grab with two hands and wrestle to the mat. Cooking for rookies. Listen up, rookies, because here's another intermediate level recipe. Today's dish is this single serving peach tart. Take a peachy peach, add cake mix, stir, then uh, and bake. Try that at tea time, rookies. Editor's note, thanks for reading the best rag in the land. See you next issue, published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. <laughs> cool to keep up with all that. All right, well, good morning. Good morning. So any chance you've, you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? Not quite yet. What do you have for breakfast? What's on the menu? Hello! It is a good feeling d feeling day, isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious it will make the day mad. Hoi well, I'm glad you are very enthusiastic about it. And over here. I'm not sure where the celebrity toad is, but whoa. What's going on? Oh, not good, not good. If I don't find that thing, I'll be sacked for sure. What are you missing? Nah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, let me explain the facts to my assistant Luigi. Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. <laughs> of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But it mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold. Well then, the results are explosive. The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. That's not good. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi, rudimentary! The thief is still on the train! Pennington, you've done it again. <laughs> Luigi, have you spoke to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings. And the lady, Toodles, lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they can make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi, you must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. Oh my, this is serious. I did not mean to press that. Okay, so uh, let's search for clues to learn who stole that briefcase. Check everything you see, even stuff like stray papers. There's but one option, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. No, not good, not good. If I don't find the thing, I'll be sacked for sure. All right, well, I'll look around for sure. Just any kind of place. There are several detective novels in here. Can I check them out? You never know who might be a suspect. I might need to even check our own detective uh, teacher here. So this was your room before, and you had your suitcase somewhere in here? There's nothing in here now. That is definitely concerning. But if we go back over here and into floor or room eight, what about all the bob -ombs? Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. 
top of the morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us at our, uh, at our arguing worst yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. It happens. Little Bub sure has been in high spirits since yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. I think he got what he wanted. There's nothing in here, so they don't have much leads for me. They were too busy arguing to steal something. <laughs> Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We will be stopping at Riverside Station today, around dusk, I believe. Huh. Well, that is sort of suspicious, actually. The fact that you didn't see anyone that could have come in and steal the suitcase. Doesn't that mean that you might be with the number one suspect on like who could have taken it? I guess we'll have to wait and see. I mean, it would make sense if he took it because he can go into all the rooms with all the other merchandise, you know, and steal that stuff too, like her earrings with gold ring. But I guess we should talk to you again. Did you see that Zip Toad came to, to last night's dinner? But I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they do a lot of makeup. All right, let's head over here. And maybe we can talk to that that toad, Zip Toad, because we didn't get the chat with him earlier. Is the ghost toad in here? If we were to do this, maybe we can chat with him. And get some more info. Okay, hold on. No, it seems like he just doesn't. Oh, wait, wait, here he is. Hey, buddy. Hello. Good morning. Isn't the weather nice today? Days like today make me feel like I'm floating on air. Woo hoo 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 hoo. I guess you don't have much to say then. It won't open for some, oh yeah, your diary's in there. What if the diary actually had notes on like what's going on? I'm not sure. Hey, morning, Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. Yeah, we heard about that, so. I don't think you'd have it in here. There are several gourmet food magazines in here. One of them is issued, yep, okay. Of course, we've read this one several times. And we know that the stew pot was under there before. I think he's learned his lesson about, you know, stealing stuff, so I don't think he's gonna do it again. But what about over this way? How are you? Well, hello there, you cute cuddly bear of a man, you delightful deer. Have you found my gold ring? Don't grow desperate now, I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. She doesn't have any leads for us. Huh. Well. Let's go see if uh, this guy's in here. Oh, hey, there's a note now. You got a vital paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. What does it say? The paper we picked up in Zip Toad's cabin looks important. Let's show it to Pennington back in cabin six. All right. And yeah, that's about everybody we can chat with, I believe. So yeah, I guess we'll just go to Pennington and see what he has to say about this paper. All right, Pennington, I have an important clue for you both. Maybe, I don't know what the paper says. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? Yep, a vital paper. What is this paper, hmm? What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Ah, th that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important glue? Cabin one, you say? Yes, Zip Toad's room, a place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train, always one step ahead. Farewell, my dear Luigi, find that Zip Toad. I'll try. Let's look for Zip Toad. I think we should check each and every cabin. You know what you need to do? Do you not, Luigi? Find that Zip Toad. He must be hiding somewhere on the train. So search absolutely everywhere. I will. And you're still just very concerned. Yeah, we haven't seen him at all today. We have already been in every cabin, but maybe now that we've gotten that paper there, we can find him somewhere. He's not in this one. Maybe this is where Vivian can help? If I were to just like do this. No, not quite. Obviously, this is the uh, Ratui's room. What about in here? Obviously, doesn't seem like it. If I were to hide, nobody's chatting. Have you seen him? Good morning, mister. Looks like they're not gonna say anything new, so I guess not. It doesn't seem like they've left the room today. 
Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We will be stopping at Riverside Station today, around dusk, I believe. So yeah, maybe there's a way Zip Toad is traveling. If the conductor hasn't seen him, then maybe he's like going up in the roof panels or something crazy, I don't know. Maybe he's practicing for a new spy movie. Have you seen Zip Toad? Did you see that Zip Toad came to the last night's dinner? But I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they are? So he's been seen at dinner time, but everything after is still a mystery. Well, I'll keep checking each car. Maybe something will pop up. Oh, wait, there's another note. Could this be another clue? Another document from the briefcase. The suspect must be in here somewhere. Huh. There's some, There's nothing in there. Okay. Uh. Weird. The thief might be hiding in here. Maybe they'll show themselves if we hide in the shadows together. I was thinking the same thing. Are you here, Zip Toad? Oh, there he is. What are you doing over there? Aha! Uh -huh. Zow, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Oh, don't you run. What do you think you're doing? Oh, gotcha, <laughs> okay. E Ouch! I'm sorry. Are you okay? So this was our man all along, pretending to be Zip Toad, I see. Wait, this isn't actually Zip Toad? All the while pilfering things from others, others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes, this was all just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. You, a discolored nostril had tipped me off. Or yes. <laughs> and not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses, I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station too. Yes, you played my daring, uh, played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend, and the good people on this train here, are, uh, train are now safe. For indubitably, no one escapes from this improbably large brain. <clears throat> well, yes, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, I think. Ugh. All right. So we got a briefcase, a heavy briefcase with nitro honey syrup and documents inside. And the gold ring, the ring Toodles lost. It looks quite expensive. And then lastly, the shell earrings. Earrings lost by the waitress. They remind her of her ex. <laughs> ah, my precious briefcase. Is the nitro honey syrup safe? It seems like it. Here you go. The briefcase was returned. Yo, oh, thank you, thank you. Thank the stars it's safe. Now I won't get the sack. Our rendezvous with the disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Huh. Whoa, here we are. All right, this is approaching evening. We have made our way to Riverside Station. Neat. What will we do here? Oh, we tied him up. This is pretty cool about it. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Beldum would flip if I let that happen. Whoa, hey! It's dupless. This whole zip toad thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers, dupless. <laughs> Beldum's plan to gooify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running lot and running now. I'll leave the rest to Beldum. See ya, suckers. Oh no. <laughs> so it was just dupless being dupless all along. <laughs> Want to get outside for a second? The exit is in the first car. Oh, so that's what that door is. Cool. We should step out for some fresh air as well. The exit's up in car one. Huh. Okay, we'll definitely do that, but in the meantime, if I could look around this and, and chat with some people, maybe even return some of the stuff that was stolen before, like to you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, did you find them, my shell earrings? Yes, I did. 
all yours. Oh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, and before I forget, take this as my thanks. Well, hey, we get ourselves a star piece. Very worthwhile. You are like the nicest old mustache overall wearing guy I've ever met. I'm glad to hear. Tonight we will be having uh, having my super duper specialty, the mushroom full course. First a mushroom bouillon, then a mushroom mousse, assorted roasted mushrooms. Mushrooms and saffron, a delicate but puzzling mushroom sorbet for, for dessert. And of course, we finish off with a mushroom coffee. Coffee for dinner? Huh, wonder if it's decaffeinated. Anyways, heading over here, I do wanna you know chat with the conductor and stuff if we can. Is there anybody in here, is uh, Pennington still in here? Looks like he's not. Must be outside. Of course, he was uh, trying to incarcerate the fake zip toad, which turned out to be Dupless. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. If I lost that briefcase and my job, my wife would have re would have really would have let me have it. All right, well, I'm glad I could help you out then. So it seems like a lot of the people on the train are just hard working and just want to get to their destination. Um, oh, it looks like they went outside except for you. Little Bub has gone outside. Who knew he liked trains so much, hmm? I mean, it seems like it was pretty clear as long as you talked to him a little bit. We are now stopped at Riverside Station, Detective Mario. Why don't you go outside and enjoy the nice fresh air? I certainly will. All right, so we will definitely do that, but I wanna catch up with some of the other people on the train, especially since we have to return that gold ring. So, just gonna skip past all this since we chatted with all of you already. So definitely a cool vibe for this chapter. The pacing is way different than we're used to. Let's go over here, in room four. We still got the ghost toad in here. How you doing? Did we arrive at Riverside Station? I think there's a little drawbridge here from earlier days when boats would pass through the canal. But then the canal dried up, and now the bridge just sits there, not really serving a purpose. I can relate. Aw. Well, if not anything else, it still serves as a piece of history, something to be looked at and look back at older times. Oh, it looks like you're not here either. All right, so one more car to move up to. Let's definitely return that gold ring if I have the opportunity, if she's even in here. Looks like she is. Okay, well I have something for you. Have you found my gold ring, you mystery sniffing master? Yep, I got it, all for you. Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you'd find it without fail. It is merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. Oh, hey, you got 30 coins. Thank you so much. And do take care. Thank you for this service. Would you like to stay and chat a while? What sort of business do you have in Poshley Heights, if I may ask? Going to Poshley Sanctum or hunting the Crystal Star? Uh, man, I guess the latter. The Crystal Star? Hmm. Yes, it is a lovely gem, is it not? It is displayed in a sanctum found in Poshley Heights, of course, as you well, as you well know. I'm going to put, going to my summer home in Poshley Heights. I must escape the bustle. You should stop in sometime, you courageous, wonderful detective you. Maybe you can tell me all about your adventures. Oh, maybe we will. Glad she's so friendly. And then, of course, in car number one is originally where Zip Toad was. I guess there's nobody in here now. So, we will just leave it be. Okay, so before we head out, I do wanna see if the engineer has anything to say, since we haven't chatted with him in a little bit. But I'm sure we have some time to spend here at the uh, Riverside area. We've stopped to refuel, sir. Why don't you take a walk outside? Stretch your legs. The view of the train from outside is just fabulous. All right, well, let's give it a try. I'm just gonna head right down this way and Take a look outside our new area, Riverside Station. Cool. So let's see what Goombella has to say about the whole spot. This is Riverside Station. Why don't we take this chance to look around? We could talk to the station crew too. This is Riverside Station. It's one of the places where the Access Express stops. This place is famous for its scenic beauty. It's the sunsets, you know? Just one more of the many pleasures Access Express passengers get to enjoy. 
for sure. So let's take a look around Riverside Stable a little bit. Seems like there's lots of people around here, including some of the passengers. It's so super cool looking. I wanna drive it right now. So little bub really likes trains, does he? Or I just wanna buy a train. I don't know. I honestly have no clue where you would buy a train. Um, but can we go back here at all? Trying to look for, of course, any kind of secret. Haven't seen too much just yet, but we'll make sure we'll look around a lot with Miss Mouse. Uh, hi. Oh, what's wrong? Oh no, what will we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. Oh no. I saw some suspicious looking shadowy people wearing hats go into the station. Oh no. They must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in so long. I don't know where the control room is. So um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go find and throw that switch? Maybe? Sure thing, I'm always happy to help. Really? That would be super. No time to get started like the present, so here's the station's entrance key. Awesome, thank you. You got an entrance key, the key that opens the entrance to the station. Oh, thank you so much. All right. That's a Riverside worker. He stands here all day to ensure the train's safety. Wow, I would hate having to work in a place like this. There's nothing around here. Well, some people prefer the peacefulness of that. Hey kiddo, you need something from the old battle master? Not at the moment, but good to know you're here. All right, see you around. And what about you? I'd been cooped up in there breathing stale air for too long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. He could have always opened a window, but good to go on a walk, I agree. Um, yep, I'm already full up here, so we'll go ahead and save and then talk to Pennington. How are you doing? Ah, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, he was a monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I su suspected. Too bad he gave us the slip like that, though. He was a rather a slippery sort. We could have questioned him about all about the Beldum business. Well, I know all about that, don't you worry. This is Riverside Station. We stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from when Pleasure Boat boats cruise the canal, but it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned to pasture. Huh. That's a Riverside Station worker. This is where they refuel the Excess Express. I wonder what it uses for fuel anyway. Probably golden oil or something. Yeah, probably something extravagant like that, right? Anyways, what I'm looking around for is just anything that we can collect. Maybe Miss Mouse can give us a hint. I suppose not. So it looks like there's nothing in here, which means we can switch back to Goombella and head inside of here with our key. So we got the entrance key right here, and it opens up like a charm. We're heading in. Whoa, and here we are. We're inside Riverside Station. It's an old brick building with natural warmth. Its antique elevator is totally charming too. I'm in love with that thing. You think it works though? I'm not that fond of getting trapped in elevators. I don't think anyone is. The switch for the drawbridge is located somewhere below the station. Question is, how do we get there? I'm not quite sure, but I'll take a good look around. We'll try to find out. A nice painting of the uh, train in the back. Elevator to bridge control room. Remember to always return the elevator key to the office. So it's locked for now. Elevator keyhole. Huh, guess we need an elevator key. Well, maybe we can find one in here? Seems like it. We're inside Riverside Station. This place has been out of use for a while, I think. I love those solitary light bulbs hanging from the ceiling. It's so shabby chic. Maybe we could get through here if you used one of your abilities? I guess so. Whoa, hey, what's up with this? Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, Flurry out here. What's behind here? Whoa. Hey, it's an item. I'll take it, we get an ice storm. Very useful. Oh, I see, that's like a little thatched thing we can maybe get behind. Gotcha, because we don't have this key. All right, I see what's going on around here. Let us switch maybe back to Goombella, just in case. And then we need to roll up, go under this thing, 
and hit this button. There we go. And that's gonna create the staircase for us, no problem. Exactly what we were looking for. I'll roll back up and head right over there. Okay. So if we don't have the key for that door, maybe we can find it up this way. But at least we have a door to something else. Uh, We'll just keep going through. Whoa, hey, we got enemies in here. All right, I guess I'll fight you. I struck first. So hey, we're finally running into some opponents in this chapter. Nice. So what is this? This is gonna be a new kind of enemy, so we definitely want Goombella to tattle on them. Our HP will briefly recover. We are finally getting some action in after all this, you know, talking to people all the time. We will just go ahead with a tattle on the Rough Puff. Let's get the lowdown on you. Got it. This is a Rough Puff. Don't confuse them with Dark Puffs. Although I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them. But anyway, max HP is seven, attack is four, and defense is zero. They swoop out your, you or charge themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're, they're charged, you'll get a shock. And they'll absorb any lightning attacks you throw their way, so don't do that. Gotcha. All right, well in the meantime, I guess we could just maybe go for a big jump here or something. Um, I wouldn't mind trying a super hammer. Cause we'll be able to knock you out for sure and then we'll be able to damage the other two a little bit. So not too bad of a combo there. We're getting more star power that we don't really need. Oh, but here they go, they're electrically charged. Oh, I blocked that one, so that's at least something. All right, so what do we wanna do then? I think for right now, we'll probably wanna switch out of Goombella. Yeah, I think that'd be better. So if we uh, go to tactics, swap partner, who could maybe damage you? Maybe Coops, because it's like at a distance, but even then, I don't think we could. Their shell slam, but even that I can't reach. Just trying to see if there's maybe anything I could actually here, switch again. Maybe Vivian? I don't wanna think so, but hmm. at the least we could just defend. We'll just defend for this turn with Vivian, and then I will jump on the other cloud. So, not the hammer, but instead the jump, normal jump on you. I thought that would do a little bit more than just four damage, but that's okay. That was still pretty good. And ouch, that was not so good. Oh no, sorry Vivian. Taking a good chunk of damage here. We heal up a little bit, so that's at least something. Oh, and they're both in the air now. So, I think for now, Mario should probably just do a spin jump on you. Boom, there we go. So they're both down to two health. Oh, and they're both gonna get frozen too? Really good opportunity for us. So, if we wanna keep things nice and simple here, probably just doing the Shade Fist on you. Got it, nice. All right, one more cloud to take on here. I think we can handle it. The Shy Guys are coming in. All right, let's go for this again. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so there's that battle done. We are super close to getting a level up. If we go for one more battle, we'll definitely get it. Nice. Oh, and we get a bunch. We get that lighting that we don't really need. Okay, I can't carry any more items. Let me just go ahead and use this mushroom. Who needs it the most? And I guess out of everybody, it seems like Vivian. So there we go. Hope you feel better. Boom, I'll get you now. So another cloud to take on. Happy to take on as many as we need just because you now we're getting some action in here. So there we go, got you pretty good there. What health is gonna be at? Dodging some attacks will automatically be dodged. That's great. Okay, so I think we'll just do a normal jump on you. Yep, just like that. And then, Vivian, I think we'll just do Shade Fist. Ooh, gotcha. Not enough to fully take you out, but we'll be ready for this next one. But are you gonna charge up or are you just gonna attack us directly? Just a direct attack, which we're able to block a little bit. Okay, here's our chance. They're getting scorched by the flames. If we just simply jump on you, it should be more than enough. Very nice. Okay, well there we go. We got some star points and that is enough for a level up. What should we even upgrade this time? Uh, I mean, I think out of everything, it might just be good to stay safe. 
use some extra HP, so we have 40 in total. I definitely probably need to work on some FP soon as well, but right now, get an extra beefy with the HP. If we run into a big fight, it might be helpful. And we get all that. So well, let's switch back over to Goombella. I don't think we got the description for this room. This is the other side of the big clock. Lots of endlessly moving gears. A lonely clock counting out the endless progression of hours, heard by no one. The switch for the drawbridge is located somewhere below the station. Question is, how do we get there? Well, we gotta figure out the elevator. That's the big thing for right now. So maybe we could just get across? Whoa, whoa. All right, how do we do this then? Good question. Whoa. Uh, oh no, that would have been it, darn. Maybe. It's definitely tricky, because each one of these little gears, I mean, I guess big gears, moves at a different rate. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that blue one seems to not stop very often, though. That's the hard part. I don't know if there's an easier way to figure this out, but that blue one does, oh wait, does the blue one always stop with the yellow one? So far, no, not always. But there's definitely a pattern. I just don't really know the best way to figure it out. Hmm. I mean, I guess if I could just get onto the pink one, I mean, I might just be able to float over from there. No, okay. There's gotta be a way to really like decipher this. Okay, so after watching this for a bit, I think I get it. So this is gonna go one more time. And then I'm, no, oh, wait, hold on. I got it, I definitely have it. So basically this first one swings around so that like, you know, six teeth of the gear, I think that would be called, swing by. And then it goes one more and then it stops again. Then we hop onto the green and then I wanna hop into the pink. But then instead of moving forward, we move backwards. And then I move forward, and then onto the blue one. There you go. That was tricky, but we made our way through. Just had to sit and watch for a bit and really just pay attention. So cool. And then over here, we obviously have something to find. It is an ice storm. Nice. But I can't carry any more items. I don't know if I need another ice storm. We already have some pretty useful ones. So I think I will leave that here. And it looks like there's a lot to get to. I wonder if I could just jump up there from here. There's a lot going on around here, that is for sure. But there's the key. Okay, and I got a star piece, nice. I definitely wanna look around here after we get that key, just to make sure that we get everything. But can I make this jump? Let's see. I wait for it to be here. There we go. Doing some platforming. For now, oh, I see, we switch over to Coops. And with him, got it. There we go, we got the station key. And once again, I can go to Miss Mouse. And it looks like there's nothing in here. Good to know. There must be some place here where we can use the key we found. I do believe there is. So I just wanna roll up. Head back down this way, because this area is sort of a dead end now. And also double check with Miss Mouse. Not looking like it. All right, back through here then. What do we got going on? It was right down here that we could enter. Nope, nothing. All right, let's use that key then, right through here. The station key should lead us to a whole new room. Whoa, we're outside. We're on the deck of the Riverside Station. So back over to Goombella. The switch for the drawbridge is located somewhere below the station. Question is, how do we get there? We're on the outer stairs. It's nice to step outside the station and get some fresh air. Hey Mario, can we just take in this killer sunset for a while before our, our next bad guy appointment? Uh, sure. 
So it seems like there's a lot more left to explore here at Riverside Station now that we're on the deck. We gotta get this train moving, so hopefully we can keep it going in the next episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.